the earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. But it is everything to us. Here in the Niger Delta, within every community is family, life, art, love, friendships, wisdom, culture, traditions, dreams, and always a story. Because of those courtes, everybody can they run now. Those court boys now fight each other. Then go kill, even though on a good far, when anybody go cut in head, bury the person, they, they burn house. They scatter everything. The court is, you can define it as the youth group that actually were uh, the major uh, principal in the course of the conflict. My name is the Jennifer. I be mama of three children. My husband Dan died. <laughs> The place was a no-go area to many before our intervention. When they come, as we reach here, we can't see crowd. I say, what thing happened? They say they shoot my husband. We have the interest of building community leadership, building their capacities. As I declared here, we can see another group, then they come. My mother-in-law can tell me, say, ma, come carry this children, move, come out, go one side. It took the community leadership to rise up to contain the situation. Partners for Peace is a network of all, you know, personalities drawn from the academia, from the religious angle, from the community leadership angle, from the student angle, from, you know, all spheres of life. p for p was involved, because that is the umbrella with which we went. The peace actor promotes peace to enable economic activity to thrive in a given environment. They've been trained that yes, no matter what happened, it is the dead themselves that will be able to settle their differences instead of waiting for external you know, forces to come and settle it for them. Because after that training, they begin to reduce court groups. We agree that there, sh there should be a peace accord to be signed by both so that we put an end to ECZAN's internal crisis. The community after, after the training realized that, yes, this is what they're supposed to do. If they go farm now, they come back, nothing happen. If they go market now, they buy something, they eat. If they go money or anybody will not get money, but stay for us, they look. And so we just there now. Finally, as a community has been able to rebuild their homes, they rebuilt their relationships and the local economy too. And now, even the opposing militants themselves have begun reaching out to P4P to help prevent violence. In 2013, the Foundation for Partnership Initiatives in the Niger Delta launched the P4P network. And now, there are over 10,000 volunteers across the region who are trained and empowered with data and skills to address court clashes, lawlessness, political violence, militancy, and communal violence. In Delta State, for example, decades of land conflict between the Igbide and the Apollo Enwe community required urgent attention. That time, where the thing never start, we get happiness. Where, where? If you go, if you go sleep, you fine. You go right outside the peace. You lock your door, no guhala. What do you copy this one? Not be saying now who they find the trouble. All those your daughter yaros. They now become a, a terrorist in our village, in our uh, farm. If we will go farm, they will not terrorize us, shooting God and the drivers away from the farm. We will never take one day say this uh, boys for this community. Carry fat go me there. There's a conflict, a boundary disputes between the Okubulu Enwe and Igbide communities, which dated back to 1967. We need peace. May this war end. Why war? Why wasting your time, money, and energy to fight war? When Partner for Peace came, 
they engaged the two communities and we dialogued. And so many of the things they told us, we put them into action and there was relative peace. Today he calls me, I call him, we discuss. They will all agree too that we will go to the bush and put a boundary to ensure that tomorrow there is no more conflict. So as a matter of fact, P for P tried. They played a very good role. Step by 10, the 10 persons can go into the community and talk to 10 more persons. 20 will go down and talk to more 20 persons. Then the whole thing will cascade down to the smallest person in the community. And after they done that one, there was peace before this recent attack. After such incidents, P4P gets back to work. This work of peace building is never done. It is a continuous effort of problem solving and little by little, over time, as a result of the tireless work of thousands of volunteers, peace can finally take root. In another example, over 100 miles to the east in Elo, a man was unjustly killed. This would surely have sparked a vicious circle of revenge, except for the fact that partners for peace were already on the ground. This one, my late brother Kent, I was telling me about. My brother Kent, Abuibu, was a security personnel in the community. The problem was that uh, there was a breakdown of order given by the community by some miscreants who said they would never keep the laws and the rules. So we now put a law that the social time, all night parties should be closed. The late disease went to implement this law. They followed him up to his own personal house and attacked him there. He went on the legal mission. When I saw him, I have another meaning that because the, the, the place was pumping blood, rushing out, and the blood was foaming, so I was envisaged dead, so it makes me to be annoyed. I was furious to revenge. When the news broke out that uh, this man has passed away, there was a, a, a reaction. It could become a, a, a community war. I think uh, three houses were set ablaze at that time. Along the line, the king came in when he saw that things are going out of hand. It takes you very difficult to get this right. Well, it's really with dead bodies on ground. Thank God, you like uh, the organization of P for P. They encourage people in the community for peace environment. And they will organize a program in the town hall where we call the youths. Even elders were there, we have to talk to ourselves. Because it's only peaceful environment that where government can do something. Many of the youths, we touch their hearts and they see that it is good to trade in the part of peace. When these sort of conflicts bubble up, Pain Foundation recognizes them early through a real-time analysis of geospatial information collected at the Integrated Peace and Development Units in Port Harcourt. Then, the team moves quickly to coordinate the response of peace agents on the ground. Most importantly, lessons are shared across the region so that resilience can take root and grow. So, why does this work? It is because we treat data with a human touch. PIN's PISMA provides real-time data and information to thousands of peace agents across the Niger Delta so that our peace agent can quickly respond to conflict situations in their community. Now, excuse me, I have to get back to work. These stories are just three of many, showing PIN Foundation systematic data and human-driven efforts to promote an enabling environment for peaceable livelihoods. For the good. For the good. For the good. For the good of. For the good of all. Make it better for everybody. There are many, many more stories like these three. Ping has worked for systematic change across the Niger Delta, using early warning data and a vast network of volunteers, training, mobilizing, inspiring, and facilitating peace. For more information, please read the case study and practitioner's guide at www.pinfoundation.org. And please, join Partners for Peace to contribute to peace building and conflict prevention in your community. For the good of all.